Mama tell you will be having me tripping. Man, when people start whatever it is they want to do and they get mad because people don't support them. I'd be like, brother, them folks ain't got to support you. Man, don't nobody got to support you. Why they don't? Because they don't believe at the moment. Man, you got to make them believe. Man, I get, I get so irritated when people be like, man, ain't nobody supporting me. Ain't nobody supporting me. Man, they ain't got to support you. Man, what you going to do to make yourself stand out from the crowd? Man, everybody got a vision. Everybody got a dream. Everybody got something they doing. You ain't the only one. Them same people looking for support too. So the reason why they won't buy your shirt, they won't, they won't uh, uh, stream your music because they rap, they sing, and they got their own shirts. <laughs> they got their own apparel. You know what I'm saying? But what you got to do is you got to uh, uh, be able to rise above the pack. You can't, you can't do what everybody else is doing. And what I mean by that is you can't be normal with it. When you normal with it, man, you become normal. You got to do something that's going to make you rise above whatever it is everybody else is doing. So those same people who are looking for, for support, they in the same boat, in the same bag as all the other people who are just normal with it. Man, when I tell you everybody got something they doing now, everybody. So, 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 so I, I remember back in the day, man, when you rapped and you had a CD, like, man, I'm talking about like, when it might probably like, now let's just say like, like, let's say like 95, 96, you know what I'm saying? That was like the golden era. Like, like if you had a CD, even though at that time I didn't have no CD, but I was the one that, and me and my partners was, if you had an underground CD, man, we were buying that junk. Cause it was like special, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody still wanted to rap, but it wasn't as feasible as it is now. So now everybody got a studio, everybody got a MacBook, everybody got Pro Tools, everybody got a microphone. So everybody a rapper. But back in like '95, man, man, we respected the fact that man, you, you, man, you went to the studio and made a project, you made an album, you know what I'm saying? So. That was already different in itself. It's like everybody rapping, everybody singing, but man, you really got a CD in your hand? Man, that made you stand above everybody else. So now we shopping with you because you different. You ain't just talking, you really doing it. And so, man, the, 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 the thing now is everybody got a drink, everybody rap, everybody say, everybody entrepreneur, Facebook that made everybody have a business. But what you gonna do to make yours stand out? to get the support. You understand me? Like, like if you don't do anything extra uh, to make you stand out, that's why for years, man, like, man, I'm rapping my cars. You know, like, I'm putting my, my logos and my advertising on my cars and put big rims on my, man, so I can stand out. You know what I mean? So when I pull up, when I pull up to get ready to do whatever event I'm doing, man, you're gonna look at me just a little bit different than the other rappers. And so I'm strategic. I'm strategic when I when I'm booked for a show and it's other rappers. I ain't hey, listen to me. It, it, it ain't competition, but man, I gotta handle my own business. So so I'm gonna get there early. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure I get there early. You know what I mean? I'm why why so my car can be at the door. <laughs> Real talk. You know what I'm saying? So so I can have a good parking space. Real talk. You know what I mean? So when the people come in, they like, who is this, bro? You know, bro. Who is that? Ah, oh, he performing. Da 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 da. He ministering. Da 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 da. So they ready for me to hit the stage. Real talk. You know what I mean? Like I think a lot of times, if you don't step outside of the box, uh, to be able to be different, man, you become like everybody else. And when you become like everybody else, it's like, mm, ain't nothing really special going on. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I, 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 I you know, I, you know. I, Listen, I, I've been doing this a long time, and man, I done seen people be upset, quit doing what they're doing because of the lack of support. Man, who told you people was gonna support you? Man, I, th I think the worst thing, I, I, the worst one I didn't that I deal with is when cats start doing gospel rap. They automatically think because I'm rapping gospel rap, the people gonna support me because I'm. I'm, 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 I'm doing something positive. I'm doing something for the Lord. Boy, stop. 
that's when it get worse. <laughs> it get harder. You know what I'm saying? Because because them same people who you thought uh, was going to be so excited when you started rapping for the Lord, man, they still listen to everything in the world. So they they are talking, but man, they ain't excited about that. You feel me? So 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 even if you in that lane, you got to do something else that's going to make you stand stand out. You got to do something else that's going to make them respect you more. You know what I mean? Like 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 you got to do certain things to get people to open their eyes because people don't have to support you. They don't have to support you. So even when you quit and you get frustrated because you've been trying to build your YouTube channel for the past 10 years and you still ain't getting no views. Man, when you disappear, they ain't crying. They ain't tripping. They ain't like, where's such and such? Where's such and such? They ain't staying you. You know what I mean? Like, like you done went back to the job uh, uh, the next day, uh, talking about you just going to focus on your job. They don't care. They, they don't care because, because you ain't trying to uh, do your business no more. Who? Please. They don't care. They didn't move on. You know what I mean? So it's up to you to be able to stand out and, and, and make people support you. You know what I mean? Like the little bit. I ain't going to say the little bit because the Lord has blessed me. What I do have, man, it came from a lot of sacrifice. And, and, and I still ain't uh, this national traveling every week around the world type of dude. Like, I'm still regional successful. You know, I'm, I'm regional successful, I would say. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm grateful for that. But, man, like, bro, that didn't just fall out the sky because I was rapping for the Lord. Like, nah, man. I was in the streets out the trunk every day. You know, my first three years, man, that's all I did was out the trunk. So I made people respect what I was doing. I made people support me. I man, I remember folks would say, uh, eventually when I started getting booked, they would see me at their church uh, and they'd be like, ah, that's you, the dude that was at the counter store. Know what I'm saying? Like you asked me about two or three times, uh, not in one time, but just like through the year that they saw me. They were like, but they told me no. But when I got on stage, you would have thought they knew me after the show. Bro, you the dude that be at the sicko. You the dude that be at the Exxon. Like now after that, they respect what I'm doing. So now when I had a project, they see me a track. What you got new? Know what I'm saying? My bro, bro, I'm, I'm, bro, 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 when the next one dropping? You know what I mean? Like, like, my, when, when your next show? You know what I mean? Like, like, that's what you got to realize is that, like, people don't have to support you. They don't have to. You know what I mean? Now, if you do come out the gate and you get supporters, man, that's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? If you if you get supporters, man, that's a blessing straight out the gate with, with, with hardly no grind. It just kind of do that viral thing. You know what I mean? Like, that ain't my story. I got the, man, I, man, the harder way. You feel me? Like, the weak brother, the harder way. That's the way uh, that we've been going. It's just the harder way. You know, ain't nothing easy about this journey I've been on. You know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't see people get support uh, off the TikTok or the Facebook. They drop it just so happily that junk go viral. And man, all these people supporting them. Man, it, listen, it, it's only a few that get that. I'm talking about, when I say a few, I'm talking about a few. Now, if you part of the few, and I mean, when I say few, I'm talking about out of one million. You part of the 1,000 who get that, and that number, they're probably still high. You know what I'm saying? We might need to chop that in half and say out of 1 million people, uh, uh, 500 might go by around the whole year or something. You know? like, But, but man, listen. They don't have to support you. And you, and you got to know that. And, 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 and to make people support you, you got to make people support you. So you got to do something that's going to stay outside of the box. Um, when, when they see you, you're going to look like a so thumb. You're going to look different. You're going to move different. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not moving different and you're looking for support and you're not getting it, it's going to stress you out. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make you second guess your purpose, your calling. 
It's going to make you second guess what you're trying to do. Um, but you got to sacrifice. And a lot of times, the biggest thing that stop people from uh, sacrificing is the money. Like We don't really want to spend the money. You know, but but to stand out, sometimes you got to spend the money. Um, and I think sometimes, especially especially on this side, the faith side, man, the world be showing out. Man, they'll turn around, put up 50 racks behind one song, and we scared to put up $500 behind one of our songs. You know, and that's the truth. You know, but I understand the market is different. Um, they got a bigger market, uh, especially when we talk about gospel rap and regular rap. You know, they just got a bunch of things that that's that's going for them that we don't have. They got way more DJs. They got way more influence. They got way more podcasts and things that can get you out there. They got way more radio uh, promoters, things of that nature. But but like I said, it ain't no excuse. Do what you do. So at the end of the day, man, people don't got to support you. But uh, the way to get them to support you is by making them support you. And the way you make them support you is by really grinding hard and sacrificing and doing whatever it is you need to do or to make sure that they see you standing out. Man. So at the end of the day, man, take it or leave it. But don't say I ain't tell you. <laughs>